The president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of PNG and Solomon Islands and Bishop of Berena, Most Reverend Bishop Otto Separi, stated that they have received an official announcement from the Vatican recently on the 12th of April, confirming the visit of Pope Francis to PNG. Most Reverend Bishop Otto Sapari indicated that the Pope will visit PNG as a state leader and also as a pastoral or spiritual leader. He's coming as a spiritual leader and coming to visit Papua New Guinea. Of course, he has time to speak with the political leaders of our country. He's going to speak to the spiritual leaders of our country, the bishops, the priests, and religious. He's going to meet the Prime Minister and the Minister of the Cabinet. So he comes to bring peace to us. He comes to bring God's graces and blessings to us. The bishop further inviting other churches in Papua New Guinea to be part of this special occasion. He said PNG have different denomination, but we all believe in one God. So this invitation goes to all the people of Papua New Guinea, despite of which church you are belong to. So we welcome, looking forward to welcome our Pope, our spiritual leader coming to us. And it's not excluded only for the Catholics. It's for all the people of Papua New Guinea. Sharing on the same sentiments, the Archbishop of Port Mosby, His Eminence Sir John Cardinal Ribat, wants every citizen of this country to be united to receive Pope Francis. This is an important moment for us to prepare, and uh, because of his entrance to our nation, it is through Port Mosby. And therefore, we have to ensure that this visit is memorable, not only for him, but also for all of us. The Archbishop also reiterated on a statement made by Pope Francis when all the bishops from PNG and Solomon Islands visited Rome last year in May. Last, and of course he knew. That's why he said, my heart goes to the peripheries, to those who are really far away, and those who are really kind of yeah, neglected in a way. And so neglected in a way that covers many things. He further stated that Pope Francis is a spiritual leader, a state leader, and he is a leader for everyone, and he speaks for the good of humanity. Louis Mangu, National MTV News.